What's up? This is Luke. And it's Nixon. We're Framing Anley. And this is the Kerrang! Podcast. Peace! Hello and welcome to the Kerrang! Download Podcast, day three at Donington. Uh, the weather is still atrocious. And I'm Brian Pantana. We're here at the Kerrang! Podcast. So how's things going? Uh, Luke? Uh, Brian? I'm, <laughs> you can't believe it. I'm going to do it again. Uh, Hello and welcome to the Kerrang! Download Podcast, day three at Donington. Here I am with... Uh, <laughs> I, w- I will not be broken. Hello and welcome to the Kerrang! Download Podcast, day three at Donington. Here I am with... And Nixon. I'm Champ Bailey. <laughs> Wear me! Hello and welcome to the Kerrang! Download Podcast, day three at Donington. The weather is simply awful. So we're in uh, the Kerrang! Signing tent. I'm joined by Luke and Nixon from Hello. Framing Hanley. So you've been trekking around Europe. Uh, you started off in the UK. You did a, quite a few headline dates. Yeah, we did. And, uh, we did like what, like four or five headlining dates, I think, and then the two slam dunk shows, which were those were a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. And then uh, went to the to Europe, Germany, did Rock and Marine, Rock and Park, did a bunch of festivals over there. Greenfield and Overrock. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're here at Download, which is like the one festival that I've always looked forward to playing this festival. I mean, this right. is a, we ex- we've explained this to a lot of people already, but it's like. There's a lot of festivals as a band all across the world that you know about, and Download is one of those festivals. So when we got to ask to play this year, it was like we've been looking forward to it. And then, of course, we show up, and uh, we the, the weather is like yeah. this. So, yeah. And Nova Rock was awesome. I, I, I've gotten sick like the past few days, and my voice was completely gone for the set. Yeah. But it yeah. seemed like it seemed like the crowd didn't care, and like they just they were the most responsive crowd I think we played to, like out of any of those festivals. The only downside is like. We've played with like so many awesome bands that we wanted to check out, and we didn't get to check out any band except for Foo Foo, Foo Fighters. Foo 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 Fighters. Foo Foo Foo, Foo, Foo Fighters. Where did you play with uh, Foo Fighters? Greenfield, wasn't it? No, that was Nova. No, no it was Greenfield. Nova Rock was yesterday. It was Greenfield yeah. in uh, in Interlaken, Switzerland, I think. And it was, I mean, it was beautiful. It's like in the middle of the Swiss Alps, and you have Foo Fighters, the greatest fucking rock band in the world on stage yeah. absolutely destroying it and uh it was a good time just because we had a day off the next day did we have a day off the next day i think we traveled but yeah y- yeah we sense, so we got to get really drunk that I night i sense the days are just bleeding into yes, each other all they days are. are one day on yeah. tour yeah, especially considering when we have a day off that's usually my cue that i'm allowed to get really drunk because <laughs> i have a day off to recuperate so i spend that whole day recuperating just sleeping in my bunk and then i wake up and it's time to do another show so there aren't really many days off. I mean, yeah, I, but I believe you've got one uh, specific aim while you're in the, uh, England. I do. I have to find a TARDIS so that yeah. I can get a picture. I just became a Doctor Who fan, and it just added to my general nerdness already. But so I have to get an official TARDIS yeah. picture. He, he wants a picture with that. I want a picture with Black Veil Brides. As long as that happens today, cool. it, we, we're going to call it a tour. Yeah, well, they'll be here soon. Um, so how embarrassed are you to have a Doctor Who fan in the uh, band? I'm, I mean, look at this guy. Nothing embarrasses me. Yeah. <laughs> when did you decide to uh, do the, the uh, full on uh, Morgan Spurlock? <laughs> Slam dunk, actually. Yeah. I just looked around and I was like, there it's was a so handlebar many... kind of day and it's stuck. Yeah. <laughs> do you, I mean, do you find you've imbued with a special power? I do. Uh, all of my facial hair grows faster. I can drink whiskey like it's water and lift large cars. Cool. Well, uh, I'm sure the fans, uh, you know, when Lincoln Park have played, there'll be, you know, traffic jams when everyone's trying to leave at once. You get offer a service by lifting cars out of the car park and onto the main road. I'm like Andre the Giant and Princess Bride. Everybody move! And they just clear. <laughs> After the UK tour, you've got a lot of US dates again. Uh, yeah. Relentlessly touring. Um, but when are you going to start work on A Promise to Burn? Actually, yeah. I follow up. As soon as we get home, we, yeah. uh, we're we doing pretty much just like weekend warrior stuff to keep paying the bills while we're home. And, uh, like while we're home during the week though we're just going to be in our rehearsal space writing and getting ready to do our next record and uh you know as we said in the in the interview that we did with Craig a couple weeks ago it's like you never know how you know how many records or how many opportunities you're going to get to do another record or another record and this is our third record so we want to make sure that this is a record that we're going to say record a thousand times about in an interview <laughs> and then a record It'll that we're very happy happy about yeah <laughs> i mean do you, uh, that's a record for how many times i said record yeah are you the type of band that kind of uh writes towards a record on the road we, you we haven't had a, that much of an opportunity as usual like with a promise to burn because we toured in support of the moment for like three years so you know we had a lot of opportunity to just sit around on the bus and ride on acoustic but this tour it really hasn't i mean there's shit there's still some songs on this record on a promise burn that we haven't even played live so 
was more so us teaching ourselves our songs again nice. than it was getting ready to, to write for the next record. But we have, uh, we have songs that, I don't want to sound like we're putting rejects on our next album, but we have songs that we didn't finish when we were doing A Problem with Suburban that we were really, really excited about that have kind of just been setting and we've been working on still since then. So be a good building block for the Exactly, yeah, yeah. Do so you have any kind of inkling what it's going to sound like? I don't know. I mean, it, one thing I will say is we're a band that's kind of guilty of we'll let our, our influences at the time kind of shine through on, yeah, and shape our record. And if, if that says anything, I'm really fucking excited because we have been wearing out the new Foo Fighters record. So, I mean, I just want to make a complete badass rock record. And I think the new Foo Fighters record is the perfect example of a band that has done that. I was going to say, um, Foo Fighters love Queen and your tour manager loves Queen. Has he been oh, uh, playing the albums to death in the, uh, the van? No, he, but we can get him to. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he doesn't. Danny didn't even tell us about the excerpts until we uh, are actually uh, right now for two days are using their bass player's van and he played played them last night and I was like what the hell man because I'm a huge yeah yeah I was like why have you never let me hear this van cool is there any other bands you're going to be checking out today or are you just going to kind of uh, relax I want to see Gore I, th oh, yeah. I think they're on about right now though I yeah. think so well, we saw you're kind of you're, you're fucking that up for me Simon <laughs> sorry well I can um, I can dress up in one of their uniforms and <laughs> Oh, please Go do. naked from the waist uh, down. I think he actually he touched our tour manager on the shoulder with his penis earlier. <laughs> we don't know about if it was the real one or the you know <laughs> this one. The eight foot one he's been dragging around in the media area. <laughs> cool. So what's the uh, what's the plan uh, after you've played tonight? We have a long drive to uh, where are we are now, Brighton. Brighton. Yeah. So if the rain continues, unfortunately, we're probably not gonna be able to stick around and see all the bands today, yeah. which I really wanted to see Lincoln Park because. I mean, you know, it's Linkin Park. I grew up listening to that band. And we played Nova Rock with them yesterday, but we had to fly out to get here in time today for our performance. So I didn't get to see them yesterday. But if I can help it, I'll at least watch them and then we'll leave. But I hear at like 5 o'clock, it's supposed to be a torrential downpour. So. Yeah, I'm going to be out there with my shirt off. Yeah. <laughs> Just screaming at the sky. So if you could sum up download so far in one word, what would it be? Rainy. Yeah.